In this video, I'm going to build a simple app that can open a dialog. So I'll click the open dialog button. You can capture some input. I'm just going to type some input. If you press OK, then that some input, whatever that input is, gets sent back to the activity and then displayed in a text view. I got a question on my website about this and I, and I realized that I didn't have any videos on it. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on it. So start by, uh, we'll start by creating a new project. And my project, I'm going to name it uh, Dialog Fragment Activity. And I called it Activity at the end because we're going to be sending data from the Dialog Fragment to the Activity. So click Next and Next and just Empty Activity is fine. And click Finish and let Android Studio build your project. All right, so the first thing we need to do is build the layouts. And I don't want to waste time and have you watch me code these layouts out. So I'm just going to copy, paste them in. You can go to the to my GitHub. The link is going to be in the description and get the code for these layout files. Okay, so pretty simple. Just uh, a title that says this is an activity, a button that's going to open the dialog, and then we have a text view right there that's going to display the data from the dialog once we get it. So we can close activity main, and now we're going to create a second layout file, and this is going to be the custom layout for the dialog itself. So I'm going to call it dialogue, just because it's the way I like to name things. If it's a dialogue layout, I like to start it with dialogue. If it's a fragment, I start with fragment. And as you can see over here, if it's an activity, I start with activity. So I'm going to go di dialogue my custom, because the name is going to be my custom dialogue. And we can change this to a uh, relative layout. Click OK. And now, once again, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. So here's, here's what it's going to look like. I just need to... Just need to change that. There we go. So this one's going to look like there's just a heading, um, an input for some text, and then a cancel text view and an OK text view. So that, as you can see here, heading, capture an input, uh, OK, and then cancel. Once again, this is on my GitHub, so go ahead and grab that layout code from my GitHub just so we can save some time. OK, so let's set everything up in main activity. Uh, we'll get our log first and then next we're going to get all the widgets that we need so we need a private um, the first one is a button so m open dialog is the button and then we have we'll go actually i'll make this public and i'll show you something tricky also too later on so text view and m input display because that's going to display the input and that should be it actually um, variables so bars and I think we just need a string for the input okay now assign all the IDs and the input so m input display find view ID r ID dot uh, input display okay so we only need to attach an on click listener for the dialog so m open dialog set on click list on click listener new on click listener and then say just say opening dialog okay now we need to build our actual dialog so we need to build the dialog class so create a new java class and i'm going to call it my custom dialog and it's going to be very similar to how you would make a fragment so but instead of uh extending fragment you want to extend dialog fragment so let's go down here and type log t so it's going to be like very, very similar to building a fragment class. So press Control O. We're going to get on create view, just like we would if it was a fragment class. Then we need to get the view by going inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot the layout that we just created, and then container and false and return the view. Okay, so the widgets we need. If we take a look at our custom view, we need an input, an edit text. We need two text views one for the cancel button and one for the OK button. That's all we need. So we'll go uh, widgets, variables. I can't remember if we even need a variable. Uh, private edit text. This can be M input and private text view. M um, OK, I guess. M action OK is what we'll call it. And then the other one will be M action cancel. OK get some more space down here okay so the the cancel button we'll do first uh, m action cancel equals view find view by d r id dot should be action cancel and then m action okay equals view find view by d r id dot 
action OK, and then input, whoops, next line, m input equals view, find view by the r dot id dot, should be just input. Great. Okay. Oh, I think I input display, that's right. All right, so the, the cancel button is easy. So set on click listener, new on click listener. All we want to do is say closing the dialog and then do get dialog dot dismiss. And that's just going to close the dialog. Nothing special there. But now when we do the OK button, that's going to be where we actually capture our input. So set on click listener, new on click listener, log, uh, say capturing input, I guess. And then we need to get the input. So string input equals m input get text to string. And then we need to check if it's null just to make sure the user actually types something in. So if not input dot equals uh, empty, then we know we actually have something. There's a few ways you can do this. As I said at the beginning of the video, there's kind of like a tricky sort of uh, something you probably shouldn't do in most situations, but it's fast. So, so in some cases, it's it's so fast that it's just if it's convenient, just do it, I think. Um, but other developers will probably yell at you and say, oh, that's not best practice. But I think in some situations, in very simple situations, this is totally fine. So I'll show you the easy way first. So easiest way, just set the value. And so oh, what we're going to do is just straight up set the text view from the fragment in the activity. So we can do that by going main activity, uh, get activity, and then reference the input display widget, and just, then just say set text, and then set it to the input. And that's it. And then we can do... I guess down below the if statement, get dialog, and then dismiss. And that's it. That will totally work. That will work fine. No problems. But definitely many developers will tell you not to do that. Um, so let's, let's, let's just test that just to make sure that works. So go back into main activity and we're going to create our dialog. So dialog, or I guess my custom dialog, dialog equals new my custom dialog. And dialog dot show uh, get fragment manager and then we get a name for our dialog so my custom dialog and that's it let's run it and test it okay so here we have it open let's go open dialog and say hello hello and just click OK and there we go you see it gets set to the widget so definitely a very simple way to do it but if in when you have more complicated apps, it's best to use an interface, I would say. So now I'm going to show you how to use an interface. So we'll comment out this method, which is kind of the easy method. And now we'll say, um, I don't know, I'll say best practice in quotation marks, because uh, I don't know who really defines best practice, um, but it takes longer. So there's more, co more code involved, but it takes, but it's definitely the best way to do it. So let's create an interface. So we go up to the top here and go public interface. Uh, on input, on what should I call it? On input listener, I guess. On input listener, and then do a void method inside, saying send input because we're going to be sending the input to the activity. So string input, and so that's good. Now create it. So uh, public on input listener m on input listener, and then we need to scroll down to the very bottom and insert the on attach method. You can get a null pointer exception if you don't do this, that's why I'm doing it. I need to catch the class, or so you can get a class cast exception, so you need to catch that down here. So we're in this, we're going to be assigning our listener. So m input listener equals on input listener, and because we're in an activity, we can just go get activity. And that will instantiate the listener. So now that the listener is instantiated, I, we can go m on input listener, send the input, and then send the input. So that's great. That means this interface is going to take the input and capture it. Now we need to implement that interface in main activity. So go over into main activity, go implement on input listener. Just click the red light bulb, go in, implement methods. We're going to get the send input method. And I like to move my interface methods to the top. Just like a preference, it's just something I like to do. And then maybe log it, so got the, oops, got the input, and then paste, or um, output, <laughs> blah, blah, I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, print the out input to the log, and then now we're going to set the input to our widget. So m input display, set text to input, and that's it. So that will also work. So notice that I've commented out our easy way, we have our interface here. 
Now we're going to run that and test that. All right, so here we have it open. Click Open Dialog. Just type hello again, hit OK. And there you go, now you can see that that input is being captured, it's being sent to the activity and displayed in the text view. And of course, you can you can do anything with this, right? Like you notice that I have a variable named input. I could have just gone um, captured captured that input, set input equals input. And instead of setting the text here, I could have made like another method for, like private void set input to text view or whatever, and just gone m input display set text to input. So you can really just do you can do anything, right? You can do make it fit your needs. The, the this this is just kind of a general way you can open a dialog, capture some input, send it back to your activity, and then do something with that input. So hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, I, this was a question on my website. Let's see if I can in the community section somebody posted it right here, displaying data in a dialog view, and I realized that I don't have anything on my website about uh, dialogue fragments. So decided just to make a quick video. And as a side note, if you want more information on interfaces or ha how to send data between interfaces and activities, or yeah, so like how to make a dialogue, send it to send the data to an activity, how to make a dialogue, send the data to a fragment. I do lots of stuff in my SQLite course um, between like fragment to fragment communication, fragment to activity communication all that kind of stuff. A lot of, it, of that kind of stuff is covered in this course. So if you want more information on that, I definitely suggest checking that course out. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.